This video will guide you through the assembly process of the Amalfi. For disassembly, you will need the following tools. Phillips screwdriver, a set of wrenches, box cutter, wire cutter, Allen wrench, and a T-wrench. The first step is to remove the bike out of the box. First, use the wire cutter to cut the straps in the box. Using the box cutter, cut the box along the indicated line. Use a wire cutter to cut the wire securing the front and rear wheel. Remove all packaging materials and set the parts for assembly aside. Inside the box you should find the following. Charger, carrying case, pedals, pedal cranks, mirrors, tool kit, fuel lock, cell phone holder, rain poncho, screws and mounts, water bottle, and a repair kit. After removing the bike from the box, your bike should look close to the following. Let's now check the battery. Using the key provided, open the seat compartment and lift the bike seat. Turn on the breaker switch. To charge the battery, plug the charger to the port located on the front of the seat and the other end into a 110 volt outlet. Pay attention to the indicator lights. Red means the battery is charging, green means it is fully charged. To start your e-bike, insert the end of the key to unlock the ignition. Then insert the key in the ignition and turn. Test the motor by slightly turning the handlebars to activate the throttle. The switches for the headlight, tail light, front and rear turn signals are located near the handlebars. Check to make sure the headlight and turn signals on the front are working. Make sure to check if the rear turn signals are working properly in addition to the brake light. To install the carrying case, place it on the mount and open the lid. Make sure to line up the holes with the slots and place the four screws with washers through the top. Slide the mounts underneath and attach the nuts provided on the bottom. Use a wrench to secure the nuts on the bottom and tighten all four screws on top with a T-wrench. Close the lid and the carrying case is installed. To install the mirrors, simply screw in the mirror to the appropriate side. Tighten the attached nut with a wrench. Do the same for the other side. This bike does not have similar pedals or pedal cranks. The last piece you'll need to install are the pedals. Attach the crank by pushing it in. Place the cover on. Then attach the pedal and tighten it with a wrench. Repeat these steps on the other side. Note that the pedal cranks should be parallel and pointing in opposite directions. Attach the pedal and tighten it with a wrench. Check to ensure that the chains properly spin when the pedals are rotated. Before you ride your bike, take 60 seconds to perform a quick check. Check the tread on the tires and use a tire pressure gauge to make sure your tires are at 40 psi. Check your brakes and brake lights by applying pressure on the brake lever. Check your headlight, tail light, and both front and rear turn signals. Look out for any loose nuts and bolts and tighten them. And lastly, check the battery charge by inspecting the battery indicator on the dashboard. Once you've finished performing the 60 second check, you're ready to go. Remember to always wear a helmet and observe the rules on the road. Be safe out there. If you experience any difficulties or have any questions, visit us at www.daymac.com.